Hi, okay. Today has been the weirdest morning ever. So yesterday I got fully moved into the new place and I spent my first night there. You know, you could tour a place and think you know how it's gonna be, but you don't really truly know until you actually spend the night and have your first night there. So this morning I woke up to the sound of uh, police sirens and I was like, huh, weird. I wonder if this is gonna be like a normal thing here. Um, whatever, it happens, you're living in a city, like it happens. So I heard a siren at like 6 a.m. and I was like, okay, whatever, I'm just gonna go back to sleep. Then I started hearing more sirens and more and they just wouldn't stop all these police sirens so i'm like okay like something's going on this is really weird so i grabbed my phone my phone was like emergency alert la fires come to the area i was in like that i just moved to yesterday and i'm sitting in my room first night in the new apartment and i wake up to a notification that the la fire is telling us to evacuate and the fires are in the area. And I'm like, this is weird. So I look out my window and I see a big smoke cloud. Yeah, there's literally sirens going off every two minutes. It's kind of far away and I don't see any fires. So I'm just like, this is so weird. I'm the only one in the house awake. Bree, Lucy, and Shelby, they're all asleep. And I'm like, should I do something? I just came outside. It just smells like a campfire. So then I go on Twitter. So I check Twitter and there's all these photos of the fire and it's huge and I'm like, Okay, should I like leave? Should I wake everyone up? Is this like seriously an emergency? Like what do I do? And we're not in this immediate danger right now. So I knock on Shelby's door and I wake her up and I'm like, yo, we should probably go. So if this fire were to burn down the entire city of LA, where do you think people that are like cool in LA, like that are like LA so cool would like live? Like, would they go to New York? I think a lot of people like, would go to New York, and maybe some people that, like, hate New York weather would go to Orange County and San Diego and Santa Barbara. Like, they would just make that the new L.A. If the entire city oh, burned okay, down. Yeah. So we all just kind of, like, packed up a little bit of stuff and left. So me and Shelby just drove back to our old apartment. It's disgusting in here. It's just really dusty and gross. But basically, the game plan today, I need to clean out my apartment. It needs to be good to go because I'm not coming, I won't be back again for like a month. And then I'm going to Soul Cycle at 6.30 with Remy in downtown, which is really far from where I live now. So I need to a lot, like an hour and a half to get there. Before I get started with all that, I'm gonna do a quick workout because I just like mentally need to be there. Since I'm doing Soul Cycle later, I'm not gonna do any cardio this morning, but I'm just gonna do like a little bit of free weights and like ab stuff, I guess. I don't know, I'm just gonna freestyle do random stuff. So it's probably gonna be a train wreck, but here we go, ready? Let's do it. So I've been like getting into fitness for not very long. So I don't really know what I'm doing. I'll be the first to admit it. So I'm gonna try and do some exercises, but if my form isn't perfect, I'm sorry. I'm still learning. <laughs> we live like a I can feel it. quite like it and I have it in a ponytail which I feel like makes me look like a mom because that's what my mom always does. I'm back at the new house. 
near the fire, but this morning it was a lot worse and a lot smokier and now it's not. And I think on the news it said something about the winds going the opposite way now and hopefully we just won't be affected. I mean, I, I don't think we will be. It's like not any immediate danger for me. And by the time you see this, I either died in a fire or I made it out alive. So there's no point in commenting being like, I hope you're okay. Like it's over now. Okay, so I guess I'll just, I'll show you my room. Let's get into it. When you first walk in, you just, you walk right into it. Here we have it. So I have this wall and then window and bed and then this wall. And then I have a very small closet. It's like the size of a coat closet. Very small, but it works. So I guess I'll start with the closet. I have some stuff hung up, but I'm going to the airport tomorrow. So I'm going to pack it all again tonight. And then I have this storage thing that I'll probably fill with a lot more products when I unpack them. And then I just have my bag hanging right there. It works, it works guys. On this wall, we have this big old full length mirror. It's from Ikea. It's the best mirror ever. Everyone should get it. It's great. And I just have it leaning. Honestly, I just, I like the look of it leaning. I like how it reflects this wall that's way more decorated. I have this jewelry hanger I got from Urban Outfitters a couple years ago. And on it, I just have a hat, some earrings, uh, this, cat tag of Leo's uh, necklace. That's it for that. Then I have this plant, well, tree plant. It's fake. And then down here, I just have a bunch of shoes. And then I have this light, which is from Target. And this rug I got a few years ago from West Elm. So yeah, this is this wall. I think the only other thing this wall might look really good with is like a neon sign right there. You know how they have the ones that are like a speech bubble that says something like hello or like dream or something? I think that right there would look really nice. My bed is a full bed. It's just this gray leather tufted headboard and complete bed from West Elm. This um, is like a light cream bedspread also from West Elm. And then I have some pillows on it. This one's from Urban Outfitters. I don't know where this one's from. I don't know where that one's from. Then on this side, it's kind of like my impromptu gallery wall kind of situation, but the wall's really small. So I got that circular compartment thing from Urban Outfitters. I just have like random little fun things on it. This is from Urban Outfitters. I know that for sure. And I love it. I just, I love the look of this, the sunset, this little artwork. I look at it and I just feel serenity. And then I really like that, you know, California, one of the best things, like some nice palm trees. And then, we have this sort of like tribal looking decor. I don't really know. I like it though. I think it looks cool. And then this is my desk, but I think it's from Crate and Barrel and it has like two other pieces, but I didn't want to like take up my whole room with it. So the two other pieces are downstairs. It's nice. It opens up and I can, you know, put stuff in here. These are like coffee table books. This is the Capri Blue Volcano Candle from Anthropology. It smells so good. This is from Anthropology. And then I don't know where that is from. That's a candle holder from Target. And then just some string lights in the back. I love the way these string lights hit the wall. My laptop. Then over here, I have a hanging planter with a fake fern in it because I cannot keep a real plant alive. And right below it, I have more fake plants. That's it, that's my room, you guys. It's been the longest day ever. I'm gonna take a quick power nap. And I don't take naps, but I need to. Because I signed up for SoulCycle downtown. Remy's been on a fitness journey for a while now, and I've been getting way more into fitness for a while now too, I'd say. And so it just makes sense that when we see each other, we're gonna go work out. I'm really excited. She really likes SoulCycle. She does it pretty frequently, I think, and I've never done it, so I'm very excited to try out a new workout. Also a little bit intimidated, but it's good to try new things, you know? That's what life's about, right? So yeah, I'm just so tired though. I woke up at 6 a.m. from the sound of those sirens and like move stuff all day and I already I did like a little strength workout it was really random all right had a little time to decompress now I'm getting ready for soul cycle <sighs> <laughs> I've never sweat so much in my 
life. Really? Like my eyes started singing, stinging. Oh, mine like because of the salty sweat. Mine goes in my like I like it goes down, then I inhale it in my nose. My camera's dying, but we just did Soul Cycle. She um, did great. It's right here. I oh my god, it was so hard. She did so well. Just got back from Soul Cycle. It was really hard. I don't know if I liked it. I don't know if I like spin. I kind of like running on a treadmill better and that's something I never thought I'd say. On the way back home, we got notifications right as we were going in our neighborhood that was like, you need to evacuate, like strong warning because at night the winds get really strong. So I just booked a hotel because I just like don't want to chance it. You know, like the fire's really close and if it were to get close, like, Close enough. It's it's not worth the risk, you know? Also, I have a flight at 8 a.m. So I got a hotel right by the airport so I can just wake up and go. So it's kind of convenient and awesome for me. I'm gonna pack a bag. We out. I'm excited to go to Seattle tomorrow. Just like be back for a few days. Vanessa's home from Norway. If you guys remember my older sister, who when I went, we, um, Went everywhere together. She is home from Norway. Ow. I found this dress. I'm gonna wear it in Hawaii. I remember I bought this at Urban Outfitters a few summers ago and it's really cute. Ella and Kay, when you're packed, did you get that hotel? Yeah, I did. Oh. We don't have a packing. I will. goodbye room hopefully you don't burn down i'm head now everyone's leaving no one's staying apparently if you try it you can't get into our neighborhood you can only leave you can't bye lucy see bye. you next year all right we got salads from sweet greens we checked into this hotel it's like kind of weird it reminds me of a hostel uh but whatever all right this hotel's really weird i'm going to sleep See you in the morning. Bye.